welcome back to my channel um yesterday was a complete write off really i was fainting a lot and i slept for like 18 20 hours because i wasn't feeling very well i couldn't even like speak or walk or anything and i woke up really dehydrated and migraine and sore throat so i'm back um, today uh, to try some exercises um uh, i had chest pain last night at like 4 a.m so i ended up doing my makeup <laughs> and watching taylor swift videos and thinking about the disappearance of madeline mccann <laughs> so i had a lot of time to kill and it's trying to think of activities you can only do when you sat down in bed um i also got a disney channels uh, subscription from my friends at work so thanks for that i also want to give uh, some goodies that i also got absolutely everything you need to know about dc that's cool this sleep mask has been really helping when i have migraines little hair dye looks like glue in the dark more comic books Oops. Sweeties. I got this little Batman that my brother gave me because I get all theme presents. He's been taking him everywhere with me. A little lavender candle. Um, and then these waffle bars, which I ate like the other two, which is really cool. And then Jake and Millie Patton got me a little get well soon card. So really sweet. So, yeah, yesterday was awful, wasn't it, babe? Yeah. Like, I couldn't even speak properly, and I wasn't, con like, it didn't feel like I was conscious at all, and I couldn't stop just passing out and falling asleep. I felt sick, and my throat was sore. Um, so, that sucked. So, sorry for not posting yesterday, but we're back today. So, awesome. Um, and I spent quite a lot of last night when I was awake and couldn't sleep because I had like really bad chest pain and my heart was like 150. It's pretty bad. Um, we were on Twitter talking to people who have POTS syndrome. Got some really like lovely, helpful advice from Amanda. She was on Twitter. She was just saying which direction to go down to get a diagnosis for POTS, if it is POTS. Um, also, a few people have commented on my videos saying they think it's POTS, so it's a sort of <clears throat> pattern that keeps coming up. Um, there's also Jennifer who commented on my video, um, who is really lovely, and, and, and Jen as well. And there's also Gemma on Instagram, she was really lovely. Everyone's been so lovely, <laughs> like with advice and hopefully this private cardiologist will take things more seriously. If not, then it'll be a neurologist referral. So the annoying thing is just we don't have any treatment and it's been weeks now. Um, so it's hard to sort of keep positive. Um, so yeah, it's not very glamorous, any of this, like it's all throwing up, fainting and just sleeping really or not sleeping like or struggling to sleep because of like chest pain or feeling dizzy um I'm trying to think about what else i've done for oh god i need a sneeze and i don't want to pass out that's another thing that i've been going through is passing out when i sneeze so i'm terrified to like sneeze now <laughs> um so we've got a blood pressure cuff here Take that one again <laughs> So I feel a bit more human today, mainly because I've probably put my makeup on and got dressed because all yesterday I was like, had a fever and just sweating and sleeping. So we'll do it now and we'll sat down and then we'll do it again when we're stood up. So I'm hoping today is a better day because yesterday it was quite traumatic. Stop working again, we need my back please. 
Keep work earlier. Unless I put them in my airport in battery cell thing. Oh, thanks to Malcolm for throwing in his blood pressure cuff. Oh, I didn't. Um, oh, and then we also got a plant uh, from the girls at work, which is really lovely. So we've named him Jerry as well. Yeah, needs more batteries. So we'll just do the normal one. <laughs> My blood pressure is fine anyway which also makes us think that it's POTS because with POTS your blood pressure doesn't like increase or decrease. Um, oh yeah, uh, we've been told that like, we, we got told by the hospital that increasing salt helps. Um, and someone told us that having a salty snack all the time or on hand is helpful. So Pringles for the win. Um, so we won't try that blood pressure thing, we'll just start with, start with this. Yeah, I couldn't even like walk or talk yesterday, it was that bad, so it, I feel good that we can do exercise again. I feel bad that we didn't do them yesterday, but to be fair, I was like not even with it, so just waiting for it to register. So I've got like palpitations at the minute, so like I even had like pain in my jaw. Uh, last night, just try to keep my mind off it. Um, oh, we also set up a GoFundMe page if anyone's interested in donating a quid towards like uh, any private consultation for treatment or transport. Who we lost mate? Uh, oh, we're at seventy nine. Okay, I do. I need to be this close to you. Oh yeah, mate. Apparently if you wait 15 seconds before standing up it can help, but we've tried it and it hasn't helped so far. It's 72. My oxygen's going a bit funky. 58 I'm at now. 59 so we'll wait for my oxygen to start being normal again. That's at 87 right now. My heart rate's actually quite low today. Probably because it was so high all yesterday. Felt really drained. Don't know whether to take it off, but I um, could have to put it back on again and I'll probably still be. Cardiologist on the 2nd of September, an echocardiogram in a few weeks. Um, so for those of you who don't know on my channel um, how it all started, I started with a virus where my glands were all swollen and um, yeah I just had migraines and I started feeling faint and then started to faint and then it became like multiple times a day um, and that was like two and a half months ago now but it kept like, I'm still fainting every day. Like, I think the maximum like fainting episodes I've had is like 15, 16. Um, so that's quite a lot in one day. So we had to buy a wheelchair and buy a shower stool. We're not diagnosed with anything yet. So I think that's the most frustrating part because the doctors don't know what what's wrong. Uh, we tried compression socks, but I, I ended up with really, really bad migraines all the time. But I don't know if that was just because this illness I had migraines all the time anyway or whether it was the socks because the worst part of my day putting on the socks because it's like trying to put jeans on when you have like wet legs <laughs> it's like horrendous so we're at 79 now so I'm gonna try and stand up as long as possible I feel a little breathless today um, 
I feel it go, go. I feel it go. So. It's always worse when I like move around. Like, it's on the six now. Always feel quickly it decides to shoot up. Sometimes it takes like a minute. Like, I'm starting to feel dizzy now. Like a bit unsteady. Um, I don't know, sometimes it's like pressure in your head and then you can just feel your heart start to like beat faster. And sometimes you can feel it in your throat or in your mouth. That's like really dodgy. Um, so probably gonna have a walk around maybe. Or sit back down, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't feel so well today. Um, just gonna work on something because I end up getting like really breathless. Um, so no matter where I'm at resting, it always goes up pretty high. Because sometimes even when I'm sat on the edge of the bed my heart starts to race as well. So we're at 94 now. So it's just frustrating because of yeah, oxygen. I think your oxygen is gonna be like, I don't know, 95. So quite low. I was just gonna carry on beeping. <laughs> um, oh yeah, if anyone has any questions, just let me know. Or um, if you guys have certain symptoms, like, just let me know. Does anyone else pass out in this means? Because that's a bit weird. Right, I'm gonna stand up again. Yeah, yesterday was horrible for saying it. Like, was everywhere. I hurt my arm. My chest and my back. So we're at seventy eighty-four. Just depends as well long I can stand up forward at ninety from like sixty. And someone said to video my hands while this is going on because it can show like blood pooling in your limbs. I guess so. Yeah. So I'm feeling palpitations right now, like starting. Just having a little walk around. Yeah, today it's a bit like a rack. It's going like low really quick and then high really quick. So, but the doctor, well, the cardiologist said it goes low and high. So, so we're past 100 now. I think I might sit down again because I'm feeling like woozy. <coughs> and we're back down to like a normal level. I'll see if I can get my hands on video if I didn't call to you. Maybe well I think she said only do it when I stand up so I just keep watching my hands. I'm going to take my socks off as well to see if I can see. Yeah, <clears throat> I was really sort of blue yesterday. Um, so we're hoping <clears throat> for a better few days. And I've only got three weeks until we see the other cardiologist and 
four or six weeks for the um, echo. Um, like my temperature keeps going really funny. Like I'm either absolutely boiling or super cold. <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny at the same time. So because sometimes this is really good for letting me know when I like sort of sit down before I hit like that highest point. Because I'll go oh, crap and start to sort of not push it anymore. Um, yeah, it's pretty, like, it's, we've had to adjust to it, to this, like, illness, whatever it is. Um, it's been pretty, pretty hard, because, like, neither of us have had to deal with, like, this, this kind of thing as well, and on these working nights, so he's not sleeping, and he's having to look after me all the time, so it's, difficult but everyone at work's been really supportive it's been lovely right i'm gonna try it again i'm doing pretty well though i do feel faint just sort of sat here to be fair but yeah we'll see how it goes we're at 70 so Uh, we've gone from 70 to like 86 already and I feel a faint coming on so I'm gonna try and see how far we get. Imagine if I tried to like walk up the stairs or go to the toilet, I'd probably like pass out. So I'm used to maybe like carrying me everywhere because the wheelchair can't really come downstairs. So yeah, that's basically it. But thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, if you if you suffer from pop or any kind of like fainting illness, then. I'm sorry, it sucks. So, but uh, we're always here to talk if anyone wants to talk. But uh, yeah, bye guys.